What's going on guys, Snorlax here. Today I'm bringing you some L11 gameplay on Domination at Sea Town. It's kind of campy. Uh, I'm being, you know, a sniper just trying to pick it up. I end up picking up a G36 and uh, I do pick up the Moab with, with the guns. You know, we're going to get out of that right now. And today we're talking about friendship. In the past month, month and a half, I've had a lot of these uh, interesting times with some friends, some good, some bad. And, you know, today I've just been, like, taking it all in, like, damn, you know, what the hell is going on, you know, this, that, and the next. And I feel like there's just so much to talk about on the subject, and I just want to bring it in. If I can't finish in this episode, it will be into another episode, too. So, uh, you know, if that happens, I'll let you know. You'll all know. Trust me. All right. Well, all right. So, th this past week, or month, I should say, a few months, my friends... And me, we're always really close, like a lot of my friends, like I know most of you have, you know, most people have, you know, let's just say five, five really good friends and, you know, stick to them. You have some outside friends, some acquaintances, and you see people around go, oh man, what's going on? I went to school with you. And, um, and you also have, you always, some, some people are always getting new friends. And with YouTube, you do that a lot. Like even the small channel, like my other channel had 84 subscribers, 86, something like that. And I made a lot of new friends. Um... But, you know, they're friends, too. I play with them on Call of Duty. I talk to them, you know, this, that, and the next. And you have close friends. And with close friends, you can either... Sometimes people think that you have their close friends with you, and they may not be. You know, they, they just may be that friend that hangs out with your friends, you know, and you just see them a lot or a good amount of time. And then there's those friends where you can... You really bond with them, I, sh I could say. You know, you're sitting there, and you're like, oh, yeah... You know, I've hung out with you, you know, five times, and we just have a fucking blast every time, and it's a good friend. It's a really good friend, but then there's the people that kind of, I wouldn't say, you know, fuck that up. I could just say, you know, really ruin it. And by that I mean, you know, talking bad about you. I'm going to use that term a lot in this, in this topic. And then, you know, some things people say, like, like, there's some things that I do everyone does it, that will piss someone off, you know, like, I don't know, like, there's just a, an unlimited number of things that can piss someone off, your hair looks stupid, you don't fucking take care of your hair, and you're like, whoa, you know, we've been partying all weekend, or, you know, I slept in a fucking tent all weekend or something, and they won't, and, you know, that, that'll be something that pisses them off, like, oh, you don't take care of your hair, okay, whatever, you know, I'm sorry, and you can't, you know, you can help it, but sometimes you don't, like, sometimes, people's hair they just it just flows the way it does and if you don't like that I'm super sorry um, you know talk to them about it if they don't like it you know get over it but some people can't get over it some people just I guess don't grow up and you learn you see that in like everywhere you go school is the main place like I'm 19 and I hang out with people that are uh, basically my age some a little higher like my buddy's 23 you know and everything and I've always hung out with people that were a little bit older than me. Like, when I was 17, my buddy's 21 now. So he's two years older than me. And um, when we hung out, you know, he, I kind of grew from them and apart from them at the same time. And it sucks. I do, you know, I can say, I do. I do say it. Um, there are those times where, you know, you grow away from someone. Like, I've known my buddy, Jonathan. Fuck, since I was four, we played Little League together. And everyone's like, oh my god, fat person playing Little League? What? And I'm like, no, I was a very athletic fat man. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> and, you know, we, real close. Like, I, me, me and him are still close, but just not as close. You know, work and school. And, you know, some bullshit between other friends that we were both friends with at one point in time drew us apart from each other. Now we, we barely talk. You know, some, some bad things happen. And when they did, I, um, you know, we, we salute, we, you know, went our other ways. You know, when they got fixed, we talked a little bit, but it still was harder to get back into the group, you know. And then growing up, some of your friends make bad choices, or maybe you make bad choices. And, you know, I'm not judging you for them. Um, you know, I've made bad choices, too. Everyone has. You know, I'm so I'm, you know, I can't, you know, everyone's not perfect. No one's perfect. It's the term I was looking for. And it's true. You know, don't hate your friends for something bad they did in, in you know, maybe a rough time. 
obviously did something drastic, like, I don't know, shout somebody, be a little different. But, you know, if someone, you know, stole a candy bar because they were hungry, and, you know, they've, they have... They haven't eaten in, you know, a week, you know, I, I kind of give them leverage for that, you know, you know, dude, why did you ask me? I'd give you a candy bar. They're like, well, I want to be my, you know, do it myself. I didn't want to ask anybody. And, you know, you'd feel bad for them. But, you know, you wouldn't, you know, go, oh, you know, fuck you. You're not my friend anymore for doing that. You know, you just try to put them in the right path. And it's true. It is true. Sometimes you have to do things you, you don't want to do. Bad situations, you know, it's not fun. But a good friend will be there to help you, you know. You look hungry, man. Do you want something to eat? No, nah, man, I'm good. Are you sure? You know, or when you're you're upset, just, dude, are you okay? Dude, yeah, man, you know, they're, you're always there to talk to your good friends. Or your good friends are always there to talk to you. And you're always there to talk to them if you need to. Like, growing up, I've had this, 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 this bad thing in my, my life where I didn't like talking to people. Like, I still, to this day, don't like talking to people very much. And it sucks. Um, you know, it's hard to do, but I still, you know, try to push my way to doing it. And, you know, my friends, you can tell, because you're close friends. Like, if you're anyone, like, if any of you are like me, you know, you'll be like, you kind of get quiet, or, you know, you act different, or, you know, just something different happens, or you just start spacing out and thinking about it. And then your, your good friends, your real, you know, close friends, your true friends, I could say, will always be like, dude, you know, what's wrong? And you'll be like, oh, you know, nothing. They're like, don't lie to me, man. And then you start telling them, and then they start helping you. You know, people have been through the same things you've been through. You know, I know some of you might, you know, most people hang out with people a little older than them. Maybe look up to them or whatever. And um, it's true, you know, they do help you a lot. You know, I got, kind of would say just pick and choose your friends <laughs> wisely because sometimes some friends that you have, you may be, you know, an acquaintance with them now, and they might do something that you don't want to be around while they do it. Um, here's an example. Recently, a few of my friends, three of them in particular, exactly, they've put themselves in a bad situation. They ended up going to a concert, which was good. They had a great time, and I'm, you know, happy. I, I, I wish I went, but here's the reason why I didn't go. People are like, oh, you know, why didn't you go to the concert? Here's the reason. Two days later, two days later, they go. They go to someone's house, two o'clock in the morning on a Monday night, and they rob. They try to rob the house, and they end up getting like they end up pinning the kid down. Two of them. One's a call, one's a driver. They end up, you know, getting. The kid, they're like, give me the money, and the kid's like, okay, I'll give you the money, and then he ends up getting a pocket knife. Stabbed one of them, like, seven times, and sliced the other one while the other one was trying to get away. They ran away, the cops caught them, two cities over. And, you know, the first thing I thought about was, dude, I used to hang out with these kids, like, when I was younger. Like, one of them's younger than me, you know, and both of the other two are a year to two years older than me. And they're doing this? Like, you know, what? Why? What, what caused them to do it? And in my head, I'm going, dude, this is why I'm glad, like, when these bad times happen, you kind of see the real person. Because I know that if I was in that mis if I was in that situation, they were like, oh, we're going to go rob a house. I'm like, you guys are fucking stupid. And I try to help them through it, but it's, it's kind of something people have thick heads. And, you know, kind of what I'm trying to get with this is, you know, enjoy the, enjoy the times you have with people while you are with them at, you know, that point in time. If something pulls you away from the person... Kind of like, I don't know, I would say take it with a grain of salt to an extent. You know, so if, if you know, you get in an argument with your friend, obviously you want both of you to cool down. And if you guys can't talk about it, it's not worth it. Like, my buddy, close fr close friend, I've been friends with him for like a year or so. Me and we're really, really good friends. And then him and his girlfriend started arguing, and then he hated every one of us. He hated all of his new friends that he made with us. Oh, they're all nerds. They're all this, this, and this. But he plays. He does everything we do. Like, we watch anime, you know, this, and he does it. Um, you know, we I do light shows and with gloves and, like, I do poi and stuff. And my buddies do it, too. A lot of my friends. Oh, that's all lame. I don't, I don't like that shit, you know, talking shit. But he was all, you know, friends and buddy-buddy with all of us for so long. 
that it's you know kind of blew my mind. I was like, are you serious, dude? Like what? But you know, I think that one is. I grew up when I was like still like in ninth grade. I was just trying to you know get out of the bullshit and you know stay a little more mature. Um, and he didn't. He's still in high school. He's nine, almost nineteen, and he's still in high school. And it kind of put him in a bad situation. You know, if you guys uh, have any opinions or, or you know if any anyone has statements that you want to tell me or you know it's stories, I'm here. I'll talk about them with you. Follow me on Twitter if you enjoy. Like.